Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to another episode of Devil's Den Hockey. Tonight, the New Jersey Devils took on the Washington Capitals, or should I rephrase, the Washington Crapitals. New Jersey wins 3-2 in regulation, getting them another two points against yet another metropolitan rival and a team that is this season done pretty well for themselves so let's get into tonight's game um i think the guys played uh pretty freaking great outside of some things here or there that i think you know and eh, we could have done better here and eh, we could have done better there overall i think the devils played a pretty good top to bottom game they dominated in terms of shots the entire game they dominated in, in in the first period specifically in the second period and could have done a little better in the third but overall i'm happy with how they did uh jake allen played phenomenally tonight came up with two or three maybe even four absolutely earth-shattering groundbreaking saves that very could have easily made New Jersey lose the game if Allen was not between the pipes to make those saves. It has been so long since I have felt this comfortable with a goalie tandem in my life. This Markstrom Allen, there's not even really a backup at this point. It really is a 1A, 1B type situation. These two guys are on such a hot streak. They're both playing to above 900 save percentages in their last two or three appearances each. I feel confident having them in net. And it's such a refreshing feeling to be able to trust your goaltenders that, hey, I need a big save here, or I need you to shut the door throughout the rest of this period. I think they played great. Not only that, I thought that the Tatar line was by far the MVP of tonight's game. Tatar getting himself uh, his own goal. Um, I thought everyone played really freaking great. I saw Siegenthaler breaking up a butt ton of pa apologies for the yawn. It's very late here. Um, breaking up a number of really good opportunities. I saw Hamilton getting another goal for himself. Top top shelf snipe again from Hamilton. He's picking up on the offensive side of the puck. And despite the fact that Dougie Hamilton right now is a net zero, although I guess tonight he'd be a plus one, um, Hamilton has really started to come into uh, coming into the Dougie Hamilton we all know and love in the last couple of games. Kovacevic stepping up uh, to fight and to lay the body when we need him to. And while again, I know that our top two lines didn't really have a whole lot. No Brad goal, no Heischer goal, no Hughes goal, nothing crazy. But those bottom two lines, that Tatar line specifically, played so freaking well tonight. I saw Cotter busting his ass uh, um, to, to lay down the body, to make a play, grinding along the boards, grinding behind the net. Cotter played phenomenal tonight so did Tatar so did like honestly that those third and fourth lines really came into their own I even saw Nolan Foote a couple of times playing pretty freaking well um yeah I just I think all around with the Devils over and the last couple of videos has sort of felt a little bit repetitive where I'm saying oh the Devils are really good the Devils really good the Devils really good the Devils really good and they have been all right they go into pit they go into I, I know I keep bringing this up but this last five or six stretch of games is something that, like, needs to be shown. Because this is the kind of devil's consistency we want, right? They go into Florida. They get two points against and they take a win. We go to play Florida again. We take two points to them. That's back-to-back -back games taking two points in the Florida Panthers. Arguably one of the best teams in the league. Then we go to Tampa. We don't play so good. We got shut out by Andre freaking Vasilevsky. All right? We rebound from that playing the Carolina Hurricanes after a four-day rest, and we take two points from Carolina, arguably one of the biggest divisional rivals in, that, that, that New Jersey has. We take two points from them. We go to Washington. We go on, 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 on the road. We go to Washington, and we get another two points against a metropolitan rival, which is right up our asses when it comes to points. Washington has played really well this season. Carolina has played really well. Well this season up until we played them florida was doing really good okay that is four one and oh in our last five 
they they've played unbelievably well. They've they've come up big when we need them to. They take they take two games against arguably one of the best teams in the league in Florida. Then we lose to Lightning. Okay, fine, whatever, move on. And then we go from a loss to bouncing back to beating not one but two metropolitan rivals that are right up our ass when it comes to points. They get both wins in not over not in overtime, not in shootout, but in regulation, which is huge when it comes to making sure they stay off our ass when it comes to points. Okay? This Devils team over the last five games have played some of the best down to earth grounded hockey we have seen in ages this isn't like and you know and the bouts have been competitive right it's not like five nothing six nothing seven one seven two whatever they're not blowout games they've been grinded out play defensive smart play smart hockey games and they come up with the win there was a stat i saw earlier when the new jersey devils lead um going into the third period they are 11 and oh this year this is showing me that when push comes to shove that third period, our guys can be trusted to lock it down and get the win, which is phenomenal. And we should be, and I don't know if this is just a mindset of the players or if this is thanks to Sheldon Keefe. Their defensive mindset of this year is, okay, guys, we have a lead. Let's lock it down. Let's get it done. Let's come up with the two points. And they do. They're consistently doing, doing it now. And, and, it, and it's great to see that on nights where we don't have our big gun scoring, we don't have Brown scoring or Hughes scoring or Heischer scoring or uh, Meyer scoring or whatever like they still can get it done we can get points from anywhere at this point you can get points from Mercer you can get points from Cotter you can get points from Dylan you can get points from Hamilton you can get points from like Tatar you can get like you can get points from wherever and 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 it's so good to have such an all-around great team to be able to cheer for and it, it's such a, a a night and day from how we used to play last year despite the fact that we have many of the same pieces that we did last year to this year right but we are seeing like nason having a great year dylan got a goal tonight cotter doing well but like the core is still there, but the mindset has shifted. We're not just speed and offense. We can defend as well. And it's it's just it's unreal to me. The the 180 from last year. It's it's so nice to see. And I think these are the times when we as fans need to be need to be um, giving the devils as much praise as we possibly can. Because when they lose you know, you know, we are sports fans as a general rule, not just, you know, Devils fans, but sports fans as well. We get, I think, so quick to shit on our teams when they do well, rightfully or wrongfully, we do do that. But it's times like this where this outgoing uh, um, immense amount of positive support for the team. This is where it's important to do it. And, and, and it's high time that we do that for the Devils. I haven't felt this good about Devils hockey since for uh, almost two years now when the Devils went on their 13-game streak. And even then, their 13-game winning streak, they, like, th it was all offense all the time on that 13-game streak. But this, this feels different. This team feels different different better all around uh good like when was the last time and be honest leave this in the comments when was the last time you felt confident in not only the offense but the defense and the goaltending all at the same time we in the past have had a really good goaltending not so good of a team really good offense not that great of defense really good defense offense can't score for shit but this time it's all three of those teams coming together and 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 and, and getting points and getting wins and i don't know man it's just it's so it's so good for devil's hockey to be back it's so nice um but yeah, I don't really have anything much more to say, guys. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. We are playing the Nashville Predators, which we need to get two points. If there's ever a time where you can go in and get two points, it's against Nashville. 
Although, knowing the Devils, they'll probably lose that game. They'll play down to them, and it'll go well. But hey, we've got Nashville on Monday. We've got St. Louis on Wednesday. And we've got Detroit on Friday, and then Washington on Saturday again. So we got four games this week. Um, I won't be able to make a video for the St. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I'll be able to make a video for the St. Louis one. Doesn't matter. You'll get a video from me on Monday um, when we play Nashville. You'll get a, a, a video from me on Friday when we play the Red Wings. And you'll get a video from me um, on Saturday against Washington. Maybe one against the Blues. It just depends on how hectic things get. Anyways, that's going to be it for me, guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Adios.